I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an interesting test question on logarithmic equations. If log to the base b of a equals to 1 over x and log to the base a of square root b is 3x square, show that x is equals to 1 over 6. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video and answer the question. Now I will show you uh, a different technique to do this. I already have a similar question and I hope that technique helps you to learn even more about logarithmic equations. Right. So let's begin with the first equation which is given to us as log to the base b of a equals to 1 over x. Correct. Now some of you have learned how to write how to change the base. right? So I will do that change of base on the side here so that you can appreciate my next step right so what I will do here is I'll change the base to a for log b of a let me write this as changing base to a I can write this as log a of a divided by log a of b right now log a of a is 1 correct so so I could write this as 1 over log a of b right so that is the change of base and I could always write log b of a as 1 over log a of b. That is also a property sometimes but some of my students have not learned this and that is why I am showing these three steps. Now knowing fully well that log b of a could be written as log 1 over log a of b, I will now write my equation as equal to, so I can from here well let me use this directly or let me rewrite this I could write this as 1 over log a of b equals to 1 over x does that make sense right so we are saying from here now we know log b of a is 1 over log a of b so 1 over log a of b is 1 over x correct and that shows that x should be equals to log a of b. Okay? So, so that is what we get and of course in this particular equation we know that a is greater than 0 and b is also greater than 0 otherwise the functions are not defined correct and x is not equal to 0 right so let me write that also correct so that is the kind of situation before us so from the first equation we can write x is equals to log a of b right you could write directly from there this is just to show you how we got that result. Okay, now let us analyze the second equation. The second equation for us is log a of square root b is equal to 3x square. Okay. Square root means half, right? So b to the power of half. So I could write this as half log a of b is equals to 3x square correct so that is how I can write this now or let me go one more step and let me write this as log a of b equals to 2 times 3x square which is equal to okay 6x square perfect now what do we have here on our left side, we have already written that x is basically equals to log a of b. So instead of log a of b, I can write x and I have log a of b equals to 6x squared. So I get one equation in x. You get the idea, right? So let's say this is my equation number 2. So when I combine equation 1 and equation 2, what do I get? So from equation 1, log a of b is x, so I'm writing x here, right, equals to, and here I've got 6x squared, perfect. Taking x to the right side, I get 0 equals to 6x squared minus x. Now I can factor x, correct? So when I factor x, I get 6x minus 1 equals to 0. So that is the equation which you need to solve. Now can you tell me, what is the solution of this equation? Now this equation solutions are two. One solution is that x could be equal to zero. So one is x equals to zero. Well, that is not possible, right? So that not 
this is not our solution, right? The other one is that 6x minus 1 equals to 0 or bringing x 1 to that side, 6x equals to 1 or x equals to 1 over 6. So this is the second solution. Perfect. So we get our solution that is x is equals to 1 over 6, right? And now we can say therefore solution is x is equals to 1 over 6 and that is what we wanted to show. Is it okay? So that is how you can show it. I hope the steps are absolutely clear and in this video it's kind of a review on logarithmic equations also. You learn how we can use change of base formula to write a function as a reciprocal function, kind of, right? This is, this is also important from test point of view. Second, we could have extraneous roots. It is not possible that all may be good solutions for you. So you have to always check for your solutions whether they are valid or not, right? So we have one real solution, which is 1 over 6 as required. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.